What's up everybody, Donnie Marple here again with another quick video lesson. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about expanding your vocabulary behind a kit, aka your lick bank. We as drummers are pretty limited if you think about it. Without all the bells and whistles, you're limited to two things, which is cymbals and drums. So my goal is to be as creative as possible using what I have in front of me. So what I do when practicing is focus on kind of like a key thought. And what I do to focus on these thoughts is to play two measures of, of groove and two measures of a fill. What I'm going to do is just focus on the snare drum uh, first, and it kind of forces you to get as creative as you can by using just this one piece of, of gear on your kit. So I'll just demonstrate to you guys a couple things I do, um, and I'll start with the snare drum. So here we go. So yeah, you can go on and on and on, and what you'll do is find yourself trying new things, um, and your goal here is to not repeat yourself. It's, it's beneficial to focus on one area of the kit or one thought, because if you just look at this whole thing, you'll just get overwhelmed with ideas. Another cool key thought that I, I like to focus on um, when doing this exercise is hi-hats. Not necessarily playing just the hi-hats like I did the snare, but my thought here is like the open the closed hi-hat punches. Um, so I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, so you can keep going on and on with that too and get really creative. Another cool thought um, that you can do, especially if you've been doing this for a while and you're kind of fatigued, uh, you can go into uh, just, just thinking about playing simple as possible. So a key thought here, down the middle, super simple fills. To me, this is a really important one to work on because some of the most epic fills and the most memorable fills that you hear on older records and even today in new music um, is simple. And like they say, less is sometimes more. So this is a good thing to practice as well. So here we go. My focus point is just playing simple. The dumber, the better. Here we go. So yeah, you can have fun with that one. So another reason I feel like um, that one is is pretty important, it helps you with internal subdivision. As you notice, I didn't really do a lot of hi-hat keeping time while I was, I was playing these uh, simple fills. And that kind of forces you to have an internal um, metronome going. The more space you have, the more you have to internally think of time. Another fun one is just focusing on simple chokes. Another good one to do is triplets. So you can do slow triplets or you can do fast triplets. Uh, I'll jump to, to playing the fast ones. It's a little difficult for me and it kind of pushes me to come up with ideas and you have to work your brain a lot faster because you're moving a lot faster. So my focus here is uh, triplets.
if you do that for a couple minutes, you'll find yourself getting exhausted mentally and physically. So that's a good one to, to do as long as you can before you're burnt out. And you can even do 30 second notes. So yeah, there's that one. But yeah, you can really just keep going and keep going. If you want to just think of just playing rims, if you want to just think of playing as quiet as possible, these different thoughts are going to really help you expand your vocabulary. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right of the screen. I plan on posting more videos just like this. So I uh, hope to see you sooner than later. Take it easy.